In a world where movie trailers use the same handful of editing tricks, I, Premier Gal, will show you how these tricks may be useful even to your non-trailer edits. If you're ready, let's jump on in. We all know that the point of the trailer is to grab the viewer's attention. And what better way to grab humans' attention than by creating contrast? Look at this picture. The first thing your eyes go to is probably the dot. Even with all the white areas, that black dot provides such a contrast that your eyes go there. You can't help but give it your attention. A good example of contrast is used in the movie trailer Top Gun Maverick. 30 plus years of service. Here, the trailer editor cut between the loud sound of the jet engine close up to then the empty, quieter landscape shots. This contrast makes the loud parts even more exciting compared to just having shots of the loud engine itself. Let's take a look at the Barbie trailer as another example. Diamonds under my eyes. Here, everyone is dancing, having a good time, until Barbie says something super out of place. You guys ever think about dying? Combining that with the music cutting just creates this ultimate contrast, which grabs the viewer's attention and changes the whole mood after that. So the next time you plan or edit your video, think about how you can implement more contrast into your edit to grab your viewer. One of the most common editing tricks inside of trailers is cutting your footage to the beat of the music. The easiest way to do this is to enlarge the audio layer in your timeline of your editing software so you can see the waveform more clearly. If you don't see the waveform, you can enable it at the wrench icon here. With this, you could see where the beat hits in the song and line up your cuts to the song much easier. But like anything in life, if you overdo it, the meaning is lost. If all of the cuts follow the beat, it would be jarring. And this is why it's good to mix it up. Maybe after having a bunch of cuts to the beat here, I could let some shots stay to give viewers some breathing room from the constant cuts. You know who else likes to follow the beat? Me. Do a quick stupid dance. I think I'm gonna have to fire who wrote this. Sound effects are also good to have follow the rhythm of the music. You've probably seen this done a ton during action sequences in movie trailers. And this doesn't only work for action sound effects. For example, if we look at the trailer for Nope, But that's why in this part where the horse's galloping sound effects is in time with the beat of the music but that's why it also works well with the drum fill but leading into the next part of the song and it just complements each other perfectly on the topic of sound effects let's talk about sound effects that is used in every single trailer ever the rise and impact sound effects the rise sound is used to build up to something. And once we get there, it's usually paired with some type of impact sound effect. Having good sound effects is a crucial part to having a successful movie trailer edit. And what's a better place to get premium sound effects for trailers than today's sponsor, Ghost Hack. Ghost Hack has the perfect bundle for anyone in need of high quality cinematic sound effects. And it's called the Ultimate Cinematic Bundle. Using my discount code for less than $40, you will be getting over 1600 sound effects, which comes with a bunch of great rises and impact sounds. But that's just the beginning. The bundle also includes drum loops, melodic loops, ambient drones, some abstract foley's, and much, much more. There's so much variety in this bundle that it will surely fit whatever project you're working on. And my favorite thing about this bundle is that you buy it once and you keep it forever. In an age where subscriptions are taking over, this is a breath of fresh air. If you're interested in Ghost Hack bundles, you can use my link below to purchase it. And don't forget to use code GAL25 to get 25% off the Ultimate Cinematic Bundle or any bundle on their website. Thank you, Ghost Hack, for sponsoring today's video. And now let's show you how to use some of their sound effects. Here I have some rise and impact sound effects from Ghost Hack Cinematic Bundle. I've made a trailer for a mock-up space movie using stock footage, so I've chosen sounds that give a more dark sci-fi vibe. Rise sound effects aren't only good for trailers, by the way. I've used this in so many of my videos just to give the viewers a quick buildup for a segment change. Prepare to be disappointed. Don't forget, or maybe an important statement like this. What comes first between the chicken and the egg? 
Let's end this debate once and for all. The answer is me. I make eggs. As you can hear, the sound effects has the stuttering sound at the end, which is perfect for one of the most popular movie trailer effects, the strobe flicker effect. I'll be showing two ways that you can create the strobe flicker effect. The first is the manual way, which is pretty simple. Just chop up your footage to a bunch of pieces at the part where the sound effects has that stuttering effect and just delete every other piece of footage and you'll get the flickering effects. You can adjust how fast the flicker is or how long you want each blank frame to hold by manually moving each cut point. Luckily, there's a much faster way of doing this. Use the strobe light effect, which is built into Premiere Pro. Just plop the strobe light effect to your footage and in the effect controls, you can change the color, the speed, the randomness of the flicker and more. But if you want more control, the manual method is a good way to go. Usually when you see the movie trailer title pop up, you expect the trailer to end. But guess what? Nowadays, they usually include an extra scene after the title. Now it's obviously not necessary, but adding something extra when the audience is expecting it to be over will divert the viewer's expectation. But you can't just show anything. Generally, a good rule of thumb for something to place after the title is a setting, a character, or something the viewer hasn't seen in the main portion of the trailer. The perfect example for this would be trailers for superhero movies. Let's take a look at Avengers Infinity War, for example. Who the hell are you guys? After the big title, they show a scene where Thor meets the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a big moment for fans since this is the first time these characters are going to be in the same cinematic universe. Or another example from the new Transformers movie trailer. After the title, they show this scene. Take the wheel. After that, the viewers have the question in their mind, wait, humans can control the robots now? And since in most Transformer movies, humans have not been useful in robot combat, this opens up a whole nother storyline and the possibility of how humans are involved in this movie. Now using everything that we've learned combined, here's a mock trailer we edited using stock footage and sound effects from Ghost Hack. Not in a world where one astronaut refuses to come down because she just likes being alone. Little did she know that she would be the last human alive. Now there's no right or wrong way to edit a trailer. The tips and tricks I've given in this video are just tools that you can use, but it's ultimately up to you to edit the trailer that you want. And since most trailers nowadays follow one generic formula, it's even better to think outside the box to think how you can make it unique. That's why it's so important to stay creative and as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time, bye. Whoop.